A pleasant day everyone! This is Loie B. Candale from BSED Filipino 2A and this is our painting critic from the famous artist Peter Paul Robbins together with my partner Kando Kikim. Hi, and I am Kando Kikim. The painting that we are going to look, see, and think, I mean critic, is the famous painting in the Borgias Abducting Oritia by Peter Paul Rubin in 1615. And that said, this painting is from Ovid's Metamorphosis episode. And what are you waiting for? Together, let's look, see, and think. Let's start this. <laughs> And we have the lines. Peter Paul Robbins used diagonal lines to convey a feeling of movement and the painting. The character is in a um, diagonal position that are unstable because they are neither um, vertical or horizontal. They are either about to fall or already in a motion. The, the angle of Orithia and of Voreas and also the Cupid on the sky convey a feeling of movement or speed in the stormy scene. Let's proceed to the colors. In this painting, as you can see, the dark colors such as a night or interior scene. Robin used a light color to describe the light created by the goddess' physical appearance. It is associated with a positive energy and heightened emotion. In this painting, the artist or Robin captured both the seriousness and tension of the scene with a dull gray and blue interior. And now we have the shapes. Robin used organic shapes as manifested. You can found in nature, but man-made shape can also imitate an um, organic form, like how the character dress look like. This silk used organic form to stimulate clothes and snowballs as a form of realistic painting. And we have the shading technique. Robin used blending that is a smooth gradations of value are produced by adjusting the amount of pressure applied to the medium or by using a blending tools like um, blending stumps. In the painting of Robin, the painting color make the painting more vividly realistic like on how Boreas abducts um, Orithia. On the balance and symmetry, um, in this painting, the symmetry gives um, painting not only a sense of balance, but also a sense of calm, stability, anger, tension, and mystery. Notice in the particular the way that the body and the face and the scenery in the background are painted to make the work symmetrical. Let's proceed to the proportion. In this painting, a large portion of his artwork are religious in nature. He chose to exaggerate the human figure in nearly of all of his painting. Robbins felt that by um, strengthening the human form, he was directing his audience to look upward to think about mythological goddesses. His figure certainly stretched toward heaven and myth exaggerated the width of the body in comparison to the head, giving the figure a stable sculpture feeling. This stable feeling communicates a tension um, between Boreas and Orithia, the type of a scene where um, Orithia is trying to um, escape. Last, we have the perspective. You can see um, Robin used an atmospheric perspective where um, an object in the background appear less detailed and lighter. Um, Robin um, often used a color blue tone in if you have ever looked at the background. In the distance, they appear to be a soft, um, a fuzzy blue tone with no definitions of winter growing under. Notice on how the scenery in the background are uh, more um, realistic and has a feeling of tension. Yes, as you can see or manifested, 
the holiness or completeness of the picture the edge of the line and the shapes are formed completely diagonally and also we can see the unity of the image because the shape builds on the line realistic and in an organic form Um, the artist or Robin utilized this space as an enclosed area within the painting. You can see a positive scenery in the painting. As a whole, the painting depicts a very detailed picture. The subject of the painting plays higher within the painting character with a pier farther away that make it more informative. Yes. There are characters in this artwork. As manifested, a guy look like an angel or angel or a classical old man wearing a shorts, plated tonic and adorned with um dark feather wings, who is um Boreas. Uh, he carry a woman who is Orithia, daughter of Erythius, and also the Cupid who fight uh, fighting using a snowballs. As glint are manifested, we can see the painting settings happen in a dusky or a stormy sky that the warriors forcefully carry on Orithia who is trying to escape. Robin used a blending techniques adjusting the amount of pressure applied to the medium. You can see the combinations of dark blue and gray tone and the light that highlights the character in the painting. Number one, what is happening in the paintings? In this picture, the paintings of Provence, Boreas is represented in a classical guest as a roughly bearded old man wearing a shirt titanic and adorned with dark feathery wings. Boreas sweep Orithia up in his arms and flies high, while a cluster of Cupid is in scene engaged in snowball fight. Number 2. What manners of representations does the artist use this? This painting represents an episode from Ovid's Metamorphosis. In Greek mythology, Boreas is the Thracian god and ruler of the north wind. He is old and has flowing green locks and wings. He fell in love with Eurythia, the daughter of Erechtheus, king of Athens. After failing to woo her, he decided to take her by force against her will. He carried her off to be his bride, clasping the neck girl firmly in his hands while cherubs are playing with snowballs. In Robin's representations, the bodies fill the picture from one side to the other leaving no space for a sense of motions and flying. What emotions are represent represented in the paintings? The figure fill the picture plain overshadowing the dramatic actions of abductions. What is most likely the message of these paintings? Hold realizing the inevitability of fate and such depictions display how a woman should behave under the assertions of authority. Number 5. What historical religious Social issues are being represented in this artwork. The abductions and rape of Eurythia by Boreas is a primary example of 17th century rape imagery that objectified the nudes and vulnerable female form visually arousing the viewer with the portrayal of chase and abductions. the author how does his background influence this artwork Peter Paul Rubens is the author of these art artworks his background influenced the artwork because of the historical art happens 
in religious beliefs and methodologies that was from Ovid's metamorphosis. And that's it for our painting critic. And I will leave you this quote. According to Jerry Saltz, being critical of art is a way of showing art respect. I hope you learned something in this video. Thank you for watching. Keep safe and God bless. Bye.